Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video and today we're gonna do an updated tier list of uh, well Blocks fruits fruits now last time I got a bit of hate I've learned now I played the game a lot I've gotten back into the game I know a little more and I know more from the wiki as well, so This is not only my opinion now. This is also if you look here. This is some stats for um, if I don't know a lot about the fruit and I've also watched a lot of videos to learn a bit now We're gonna the new prices have changed a few a few fruits have changed a few got some There's a two new ones or one new and then awakening and A lot of the old ones got re up or not re updated, but updated so they're pretty good now um, Or they look at least pretty good so we're gonna go from the bottom to awakening. Um, so there's two paws, by the way. So just ignore this one. We won't be ranking two paws. So yeah, there's already um, the kilo fruit. Um, it didn't get changed at all, I don't think. So it's still left here. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that got changed, it's permanently in stock. It's one of the cheap ones. Same with spin. Spin can at least fly, but it's very slow flight. So don't get any of these. Pretty bad. Um, Shop. I'm gonna read the seat here. It's a full counter to any sword user, no matter what. And it has some combos apparently. I got a thought there are some combos with it, which is pretty funny to me. <laughs> um, spring, I think that's pretty funny. I don't know why would you would ever use it. Um, Yo, know, dash. That's about it. The the new rework didn't do much for it. I wouldn't say it's better than chop. Um, I would say like it's barely better than well. Uh, new bomb. Um, ah, I don't know. It's fun. New bomb is decent. I guess it works. Also, I'm racking these on all usage, including PvP, PVE, everything. So if a fruit is lower than you expected, even though it's like the best for PvP, then it might not be good at all for PVE. <coughs> a little bit foreshadowing. Um, and also, this is my personal opinion on them. Uh, well, smoke is the cheapest logia. I would say it's slightly less useful than that because new players don't want smoke. But if you are a sword user in Thirsty, smoke is fine. It's a cheap logia. Um, Spike got a rework. It's really fun to use. I think it's hilarious. And I'll actually put it at B tier. Now, nah, let's put it at high C. <laughs> um. But I do like this movement a lot. I'll put this one in. Nah, let's put it in. Yeah, let's switch these. Okay. Next is Mera. It's better than Smoke. It's a good new ground for new players. And it, since it's got a rework, it looks really nice. I think it's good. Um, yeah. Uh, Falcon is why. Why would you ever use this? It's more expensive than Mera if it's ever in stock. It doesn't do much. It has some cool combo extenders that you could use, but... For farming, it's useless. This one is good for farming, at least in first and kinda second T. Um, but yeah, you you don't want to use this uh, too much after that. Um, ice, I would say it's about the same. For newer players, it might be better because um, it has a weapon, which makes it easier to use and level up uh, if you're new. It's pretty low mastery. All of these are pretty low mastery. This is 120, I think, as highest. Some of these go a little higher. Um, I used sand to get level, I think, 700, and personally, I think it's too hard to use for PvP. It's still better than all of these. I'll put this one here, more useful. Um, oh, right, there's... No, no, never mind. I'll, I'll put this one back here. <laughs> or maybe? Yeah, for new players, you can grind easily with that. Um, dark. Dark V1 got reworked. It looks cooler, but it's about, like, all Logias are about mid C, B tier. Low C, or, I mean, high C, low B. Um, Revive Fruit, I've seen it. It looks fun. I wouldn't say it's the greatest. But I won't, I don't want to put it low. Nah, it's pretty mid, it's pretty hard to use, and it's not good to grind with, so I'll put it in C tier. Um, Diamond. I mean, Diamond is, like... Buddha, but worse. So it's like if Buddha only got damage reduction and lower damage reduction at that. It's pretty bad. Don't use it. 
Um, even if you want quote-unquote budget Buddha, as it's called, if we look at the price, it's 600k. Save another 600k and wait for Buddha. That's all I can say. Um, that's what I think about it, and I'll actually put it in Y. Why would you ever get that? <laughs> Light. I'll put this in S tier. Uh, or maybe... Yeah, Light V1 is in higher than that. It has the fastest flight. It's... I tested it. It's pretty fast still. Uh, it just feels slower because it's bigger. It's like ice. It has a weapon. Um, the new attacks are good for grinding. It's alright for PvP. It's not the greatest. But it's alright. Uh, now this... Switch for PvP. I've seen it now. And I'll put it above these. Uh, it's not really good for farming at all. Which would drop it. But it's good for PvP as a support. I think it's good for damage as well. So you don't even need it. I've seen some um, PvP with this. Uh, gum. But why? I would put it in Y. But let's not. Um, it's definitely the same as the love. Uh, what I think about it is it can be used, but why would you use it? A lot of these fruits, um, a lot of fruits in this game can be used for PvP if you're good enough. But come on, we're talking generally here. So I'm sorry for any um, love users or anyone I'm offending here, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, it's not good for farming, it's not good for much else. Uh, so, I mean, unless you want to counter lightning or rumble users, which it's useful for. Um, barrier didn't get a rework, still mid, very mid, I'll put it in D tier. It's better than, no it's not better than Spring, Spring has more fun movement. Uh, Magma is still good, uh, Unawakened. I, with the new rework, it's really, really good, I would put it in high A tier. For farming, in first C, it's a Logia, it does damage. I think it's good with the new rework as well. Um, I feel like I should drop some of these. Yeah, I think D is like a gimmick, so I'll put it in there. Um, door? I mean, if you want to talk versatile for being the fastest route, yeah, it has a niche thing, so I guess it can be like low B tier. I don't think it's good for anything else other than teleporting, and if you have a door user that can do it for you, you don't even need it yourself. yourself. Um, Quake? Quake V1, I, I don't know if this got reworked or not um but i don't think it's oh okay um we exited that by accident uh let's i don't want to put it in a tier because i don't think it's that good per and personally i don't like it <sighs> but i it's not worse than marrow <laughs> and dark is not better than marrow nor is that one sand is horrible to form with okay yeah this is pretty good standing right now I think these, because of the farming, will just help newer players. So for newer players, this, these are way better. Um, go for Logias if you're new. Uh, Paw, horrible for farming. Not good for PvP, so it's better than Quake. Uh, Venom, well, guys. We can't forget how broken... Oh, wait, why is Venom back here, though? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think the, the, the orders got mixed up here. I think Buddha is next. Venom is more expensive than that. So is this. Oh, one paw disappeared. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I need to reorganize this. So I'll be back when I've organized this again. Okay, we're back. Um, and yeah, let's start over at where we left off. Um, this one is more expensive. And now this is the next one. Buddha, Buddha V1. I think V1 can carry you through early games, so I'll put it in S tier. I mean, even if you don't like V1, it's still pretty good if you're a sword user. Just save it up and you can definitely hold it until you get one carry. The Buddha Awakening is pretty hard, but if you can find a carry, it's not that bad. Um, string, I've seen it now. Um, there's literally not a single string user. And I highly overestimated string last time, so I'll put it in C tier on the weekend. Uh, it's not good for farming, so don't even... Yeah, there's nothing good about it. Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix V1, you can spam healing, you can fly, but it takes so much stamina, I don't know. I think it's not a good... It's probably better than all of those, though. It's bad for farming. Um, it only has two attacks, and both kick them away. 
Um, one is AoE. Uh, actually, it's worse than all of those. There we go. <laughs> um, for looks, it's still pretty good. Uh, Rumble. Rumble is good for PvP. Uh, V1. I've used it for farming. It's not bad for farming. It's about equal of a Remera, but it's more rare, I guess. I'll put this actually right th like that, since I'm considering farming as well. Um, Paw is actually higher than that, but it's not that good. Again, PvP, that's great. Um, actually, I'll since I mentioned that, I'll actually move these down here. So, because of they're useless for farming, I wouldn't say they're pretty good at all. And if it's only PvP, it doesn't carry them good enough to be like brain dead PvP. Um, new gravity looks fun. Um, I think it's good for PvP and it can work for farming. I wouldn't recommend it. It's higher than this one. Do we put it here? Yeah, let's put it there. Let's put it above these and trigger even more people. Rumble isn't that bad, but it's V1. Guys, there's a V2 as well. Um, though, though V1 is pretty mid, um, but it's better than all of these. Um, I've grinded with though V1 uh, in before patch 17.2. It's fine to grind with. It's not that hard. You just need to aim the Z move very good. And the X move is kind of useless, but the C and V move can be used for grinding, which is good. Uh, we're going to move on to Shadow, which is just a cool PvP fruit. Um, and to rank it anything other than S would be disrespectful. Uh, it's better than V1 Buddha. It's good for PvP. It's really fun. And it's really cool. Uh, Venom, our first S+, plus or broken tier. I mean... Venom is brain damaged, like, no no offense to anyone brain damaged out there, but uh, even you, as I mean, like, you could use this and probably kill a 30 mil bounty player. You can spam abilities and probably just murder anyone. Uh, just by people trying to combo you and you press your fog move, well, they can't do anything about it and they're dead and it's good for farming. Worse, it's not better than Buddha for farming, or Buddha V2, but it's still good for farming. Um, now, I've seen this in PvP. It works. I'm just gonna say this. They they did change the cooldowns from what I remembered. But, I don't think it's valuable enough. And I think it's beater, high beater. Um, I've seen some really cool combos, but PvP alone won't carry it. So I guess I'll just put it like this a lot of beaters um, let's see if I can drop anything I'll actually drop this one to slightly higher than that um, same with dark v1 door is pretty niche again teleport only so like high D tier because that's the only thing it's useful for um, I'll drop smoke down to E I'll drop spring down to E again. I'll drop barrier to F. And yeah. I think this is more fair. Oh, spike shouldn't be there either. It should be like next to bomb. With new spike it's fun. But come on. Why? <laughs> I think this is more fair to put it. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Soul is next. It's pretty broken. It's bad for farming, very bad, but it's very broken in PvP. Um, I never knew how broken, but it's very broken in PvP. So yeah, watch out for any soul users. Uh, Dragon, same thing, very broken for PvP. Uh, I would put it like highest, but this is more broken, I think. Venom is better, and I would actually put it down here because of the farming and it's horrible to farm with um, soul isn't as bad but like dragon was horrible to farm with when i tried it uh, we're gonna move on to leopard now leopard is a new fruit incredible for pvp uh, i haven't actually farmed with it so i can't say but for now i'll put it in this tier it's getting too much hate it shouldn't get all that hate it gets uh, but yeah 
let's move on to the awakenings uh, we're gonna start with flame now awakenings don't expect too much to for the upgrades because it's gonna be slightly better than the current ones which is like this now i'll put this one in s tier now why awaken lightness because actually both lights are pretty much the same it should be in s because light is so useful for new players like this maybe um, now I wouldn't compare these at all but for newer players this is what your best friend um, of course it's kind of boring to use one fruit but yeah it's your best friend for level 0 to 700 and if you you can probably do second C with it too third C it's pretty bad so actually let's drop it down again yeah it's reminding me of third C just makes me want to uh, cry <laughs> Um, Awakening, it's better, again, but it's harder to use uh, than other support, which just reminded me. Um, this one is S tier, above this, because of PvP. Um, same with this one, they're pretty good, both of them are incredibly broken for PvP, and I should actually put it even higher. Uh, I'll put it higher than Shadow, because this takes less skill to use. And it's really broken for setting up uh, stuns. They're the same because they have the same move basically where you stun them with a thing on the ground. Uh, Waken Magma. Good for CB stunting. Very good for CB stunting actually. Uh, good for farming. I'll put it in here. For farming and that. PvP it's useless but you know. The, the farming and CB stunting and walking on water really helps if you don't want to be a fisherman. Um, Awakened. I think it's too hard to use. Um, why did flames got so far up? It's not better than this one. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's fine. Now we got another S+. Um, there's no debate. This is the best grinder in the game. You can solo any raid with it. You can do anything you want with this fruit. And it's actually good for PvP as well. Uh, you can just spam M1 to kill anyone and just if you're mink in pvp we should which you should be um, you can just dash after enemy and they can't really do anything about it uh we're gonna put this one slightly better we'll put this in b tier above that there we go no more to say um awaken phoenix there's more mu moves and you can heal a lot it takes a lot of stamina but the healing is annoying in fights in pvp really annoying uh, Awakened though, we can't disrespect Awakened though, it's not brain dead, but because of the stuns, it's good support, it's good combos, it's good damage, they nerfed it I think, but yeah, it's good. Uh, and then we have Rumble, um, Awakened Rumble, still a good PvP fruit, and I feel, think it should be right there. Um, now, if you disagree with anything, um, I don't care. <laughs> You can write anything you want in the comments, I really don't give a damn. There are some things I probably could change uh, if I played with it. And yeah, I'm gonna do that because if you didn't know, I'm doing a new series. Uh, a new streaming series where I'm trying to max out my account. Which means I'm gonna try every fruit, every awakening, I'm gonna get everything. I just try it out and then I'll tell you guys about it. This tier list might change. Probably not. <laughs> depending on how I feel. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and bye.